This is our Founders Week recap presentation, and we're using evaluation of sources. So we are analyzing the presentation and we are evaluating the sources using the create method to ensure we are receiving accurate, factual, and current information that can be used. The Gender and Development Lecture was held on March 13, 2024 at the Edna Money College of Division of Performing Arts in the Vera Modi Concert Hall. This lecture, this lecture was hosted by Dr. Amina Blackwood Meeks, who is the college orator, and the main presenter was Dr. Deborah Hickley Gordon. Dr. Gordon's lecture topic was based on decolonization and democracy, exploring gender and creative endeavors. She focused on two women who, with sacrifice and drive, paved the way for Jamaican art forms. These two women were Louise Bennett Coverley and Gloria Lanaman. The purpose of this lecture was to empower women creatives through this history and influence and learning from the past to look to the future. So first of all, what is the create method? All right, so the create method is, it's, an, it's obviously an acronym, which can be used to, what, which can be used to evaluate sources. So starting with C, C stands for currency, R relevance, A authority, the next A accuracy, and P purpose. All right, thank you for that. So how can we use the the creep method to analyze? Currency, let's talk about currency. Is the information current or not to date? So the information is deemed current because she used the strategy to look back on history, to forge the way forward. And in life, a lot of people have used this method to build businesses and successful businesses. So this is a form that she took that is really necessary in order to carve the, the direction of where she wants to see women in arts go. All right, thank you. So are there any recent developments or changes in the topic that uh, are not addressed? No, not that I have seen. Since the interview, I haven't seen anything that says that there is a different, there is something different now. All right, thank you for that. So looking at the relevance and reliability of the information, is the information present, sorry, is the information presented relevant to the topic? Yes, because she is focusing on women in the arts from the middle class era. And she's, she's trying to empower women in the arts who most of, who most of, uh, most of the students are women and they would be in the middle class era. So she's targeting the right crowd and the information that she's using to empower these young ladies to look look beyond the barrier and push the limitation for arts. Okay. All right. Thank you. Are there credible sources cited to support the claims made in the presentation? Uh, unfortunately, the information that she used, she used a few book pages. They were cited, but trying to we I we were trying to find them in the group, and it wasn't it was impossible. Mm. So I would say no, because we can't really we can't really tell if the information is valid. All right. Were there any biases or conflict in the interest that might affect the reliability in the information? Uh no. Uh, on the on the way that the presentation was done, it wasn't done from a fe feminist standpoint no. or anything like that. It was simply just to empower women to do better and to 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 just own their talent and 
to show the world that some of the, the this industry dominated by men can also be controlled navigated. by or navigated, navigated yeah. by women mm -hmm. also. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So let's look like let's look at authority. So is the presenter qualified to speak on these topics? Well, based on the accolades she mentioned at the beginning of her presentation, mm. I see her well, well, <laughs> she she's the person for the job because she actually was the spokesperson for the pri Prime Minister, Portia Simpson Miller, when she was Prime Minister at Important. the time. Mm. And she was also in charge, well, a part of the committee that was in charge of youth and culture at the time and she mentioned even having plans to put things in place for arts in the society but she mentioned that the party PNP lost mm -hmm. and since they lost that idea it just disappeared all of a sudden so okay yeah I think she's plus she has a PhD mm. <laughs> all right, <listen. laughs> all right so so are they an expert in the field or do they have relevant experience or credentials? So are they an are they an expert in the field or do they have any relevant experience or credentials? She herself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Based on what I just said, she has been in the arts field from however since she, she mentioned her mom. Her mom was a part of she, her mom was a part of the women arts movement back mm -hmm. in back in the seventies, I mm -hmm. think. Okay. So her whole life has been scoped to do what she's actually doing now. Okay. So she she she's the right person. All right. Thank you very much. So let's look at accuracy. Are the facts and data presented accurate? Well, as mentioned before, we try to research the references and citations that were on the information that she used in the presentation on her PowerPoint slide and we couldn't find anything and it would be really nice if we had it to for for me to be able to like read before and just get the full context of what was happening in the chapter that she was highlighting so I can get the full idea of what the, the 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 text that she used at the time mm -hmm. was saying that that would be helpful but as we said before it it's it was impossible to find so yeah because it, there she she didn't cite anything no yeah and if she did cite it we couldn't we find, couldn't the, information. find the information okay so it was really it, it 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 can be we can't tell if it is accurate mm -hmm. all right so let's move on to the last great method which is purpose and objectivity so what is the purpose of the presentation is it to inform persuade entertain or was it something else all right so the presentation was to me th two things it was to persuade and to inform okay it was to inform the ladies about their history what they're coming from mm -hmm. from Louise Bennett coming up and, and Miss Lanaman. And Miss Lanaman, yes. Mm -hmm. And coming up to what they should try to emulate into their generation. Okay. Now. So yeah. And also it is to empower the ladies mm -hmm. also because sometimes you can you you in the arts, if you're in the arts, you might understand that mm. it is difficult, especially financially wise, to do things. And you might be tempted to leave arts and to do the safe or secure job. But especially for women in this space where we can safely say it is it is dominated by males, if it is that you're you're an artist or art well, artist, dancer or whatever. It's dominated it's a male dominated industry so it is it would be easy for a woman to give up in the industry so i would say she what she did to empower the woman it, it was it was valid it was good 
Okay. All right, great. So thank you for that information. So we've come to the end of the presentation. In concluding, the presentation was it educational. We use the create method approach and assessment sources to describe the gender and development lecture that was held in the Endomonic Auditorium. Even though there were several potential for a better presentation, for example, information was not properly referenced, making it difficult to confirm its accuracy. It was nevertheless enlightening and powerful. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you very much.